Um, hey, how's everybody doing? Good evening. Welcome to Telling Bedtime Stories. Uh, it's, oh man, I thought, it, I don't know what day of the week it is. It's a Tuesday, right? For some reason, then I thought it was Thursday. Uh, so I'm here, I'm talking to you about telling bedtime stories and why you should be telling bedtime stories. Um, and we're going to do a bedtime story based on uh, some mixtapes that I found about three weeks ago on the street. So why should you tell bedtime stories? I don't have a new um, reason why you should be telling bedtime stories other than uh, it feels good. Uh, and in this time... You know, we could be cranky. Yesterday was Monday Moan Day, you know, where we're getting those moans out and we're saying, oh, hey, Tragic Pizza. And uh, so, hey, uh, hey, Nessa. Uh, so m Tuesday, I don't know, I guess I was trying to make a point. My point is, tell somebody a bedtime story. And you could tell them a bedtime story about anything, but I'm going to give you an example right now about um, how to tell somebody one. And we have two choices tonight of two mixtapes. I found a box of uh, cassette tapes. Once upon a time, this is how people listen to music. And they made playlists. And playlist is actually a really good way. Uh, where's my phone? Oh, whoops, it's right there. I really just asked where my phone was. Uh, but like playlists are a great way, like go on Spotify, look up a playlist. Go through Sleep With Me and just use Sleep With Me titles and just go through the list. Um, but I found this case of, uh, or box of mixtapes. Tonight, you get a choice. Everybody out there can vote. Um, wait, can I do a vote live? Oh, no, that's just questions. Um, oh, cool. Tel Aviv in the house. Yeah, this is my comfort tree, Jackie. It's, uh, I sing, yeah, uh, Panic Subsides used to make uh, CD mixes. So pick tonight. We have two choices. One is titled Spring 1997, and the other is called Yonder or Bust. So let me know. Uh, the Christmas tree piano was originally the it was originally up for the holiday season, and you know things happen. Tree didn't go anywhere, and uh, eventually I was going to take it down. I took the direct decorations off it. And then I got kind of distracted and stressed about other stuff. And, you know, then this new new situation came about. And I said, you know what? How about I plug you in? And uh, you can make me feel good. So we got Yonder, Yonder, Spring 97. Looks like we got two votes for each right now. Three votes for each. So Yonder or Spring 97. Uh, 1997, two years after I was born. Uh, Yonder, is that the, so I think Yonder just won. Okay, so I'm going to do Yonder. Um, let's see, so this, oh boy, this, this is going to be tough to read. I might have to get, uh, might have to get a flashlight or something. I have to get some backup. So, okay, so this is how... Okay, I think I can read this. So let's see, what, so this is Yonder or Bust is the name of the mixtape. Someone made it, I found it, uh, it has this drawing, which is interesting. Looks like a space alien riding a dog. Anybody else have an idea of what it is? I don't know, so I guess we could start with that. Uh, so once upon a time, there was a space alien that had a dog. Now, it wasn't any dog. It was a dog, and this it looked like a dog to us. But in this world, that this, actually, it wasn't even, the space alien was from its own world, so it wasn't even a space alien. It was, uh, oh, it's a, maybe it's smiling. That could be a smiley face. It could be some sort of flower, too. So I don't know if that's going to work. I don't want to exclude any space aliens. And I don't, I don't know. I was just wasn't comfortable with the idea of space aliens riding dogs around. Um, but once upon a time, one Halloween, there was a, uh, a, a couple. 
and they had separately decided to go as a space alien and uh, a dog. Uh, the dog from Blue's Clues, as a matter of fact. Uh, Blue, Blue from Blue's Clues. Originally, uh, they had agreed that one of them would go as Blue's Clues and the other one would go as the dude in the rugby shirt whose name escapes me. Uh, I think those are two, they're on the same show together. But you know, like couples have a tendency to do, they had a little bit of a falling out. And uh, one of the two of them decided to be go as a space alien. The, the one of the two of them, oh, Steve, Steve. And not as Steve, the dude in the rugby shirt. Uh, so they got on the train together. It was a night train because uh, Halloween parties are at night. Uh, but this was strange because this Halloween party was at dawn. Uh, dawn, Halloween morning. So the night when October 30th turns into October 31st and they were riding. So technically it was a night train, but it was really a morning train because uh, it was after midnight. And they were riding this train to the, 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 I can't read this handwriting. I thought my handwriting was bad. Uh, one of them said, I, I don't know exactly where this party is. I can't read it on this map. Uh, and who goes to a party at dawn anyway? And uh, the other person said, I don't know why you couldn't have dressed, just dressed up as Steve. Uh, uh, why'd you have to dress up as a space alien? You know, I thought we were going to go together and and uh, it, it was going to be fun. Like, I would be blues, clues, blues, and we'd have clues, and and uh, I, don't, I don't get it. I, I, I was really looking forward to, uh, also I was looking forward to, like, you know, I was into it, the whole thing, you know. Yeah, no, I just wasn't, I just wanted to be a space alien. I wasn't in the mood to be Steve. I don't like the way rugby shirts fit me. And, you know, they constrain me. And I've just never been comfortable in a rugby shirt. And I don't even think people that wear rugby wear rugby shirts anyway. Uh, and uh, I said, well, that's a vague answer. He said, vague? It's very specific. I didn't want to be Steve because I wouldn't want to wear a rugby shirt. And the other person said, let's not fight about it because we're supposed to be telling a bedtime story. And we're going to a party. And they, they have thick stitching anyway. You're so right. You're so right. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, let's, oh, we get off the train here. And they get off the train. Let's just agree to disagree. But let's agree to not be disagreeable. How's that sound to you? And the person dressed as the space alien said, beep, borf, beep, bop, borf. And then the other person said, why did I start dating a sleep podcaster? Oh, beep borf, beep bop borf. I said, okay, well, I think if we go down past this church here, this is an old church. Uh, we go past the old church into the, into the, uh, you know, into the, the, the area behind the church. Beep borf, beef borf, beef, said the space alien. You know, this church is famous, famously known as having the saint behind the glass. They said, beef borf, beef borf, beef. Yeah, there's the saint behind the glass. Have you ever heard about this church? No, it does not compute. Well, it's a, uh, it's actually like they call it the saint behind the glass, but it's really this new kind of stained glass this artist designed. Uh, uh, 3D stained glass. Uh, it's stained glass uh, based on planes. So there's one plane of stained glass, then there's another plane of stained glass, and then another plane of painted glass. And so it looks like the saint is behind the glass, and when the light hits it, it looks like the saint is on the other side of the glass. And that's why they call it the saint behind the glass. Beef, borf, beef, borf, beef. Well, looks like it's not going to be a trick-or-treating tonight. And they walked on towards where they thought they heard the party, and they heard some singing, and they heard some dancing, and they figured that it was, uh, uh, they, they figured it was the party that they were going to. But the first thing they noticed was that uh, 
there was someone sleeping in a, in a giant crib. Uh, and uh, they noticed, they said, is that a giant baby in a giant crib? And they said, beef, borf, beef, borf, beef. I said, I don't know if that is a giant baby in a giant crib. And then the person sat up in the crib, but really they were only sitting up in the middle of their body. And they said, I'm Sleepy Maggie. Uh, no, no, I'm just dressed as a crib. That's my costume, a baby in a crib. Uh, how are y'all doing tonight? And the person dressed as a space alien said, beef, borf, beef, borf, beef. And the person dressed as Blue from Blue's Clues said, uh, "This is turning out turning out to be this is turning out to be the worst Halloween at dawn party I've ever been to. We're not even at the party yet, but it's great to meet you, Sleepy Maggie. I'm Blue from Blue's Clues, and uh, Maggie said, "Well, that's great to meet you. Great to meet you. Uh, you know." And who's this with you? Future times? And uh, the space alien said, beef, borf, uh, beef, borf, uh, beef. And said, yeah, I don't know. He, he just, he's in character. He was supposed to go as the guy the, from the rugby, that wears the rugby shirt on Blue's Clues. Like we agreed to dress, you know, like co-outfits. And then he showed up to my place dressed as a space alien and not with the rugby shirt with like Steve. Is, you know, he was supposed to be Steve from Blue's Clues, and I'm Blue. Well, clearly you're Blue from Blue's Clues. Uh, and uh, I could see why that would stress you out. It's kind of stressing me out. Uh, like, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to teach you. S S Future time, space alien, take a walk uh, and keep going. Uh, we're going to um, fly on the silent wings of freedom. Old Sleepy Maggie and Blues from Blues Clues. And Blue from Blues Clues said, What are you talking about, Sleepy Maggie? She said, This 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 crib's got wheels. Hop in. They headed out on the streets, uh, and she realized that this crib did indeed have wheels, and not just any wheels, wheels with ball bearings, you know, the kind of wheels that have spokes and and axles and you know, not just the typical things you'd find in a regular everyday crib. This was some sort of souped up magical crib. Uh, and they started to pick up speed and uh, soon it was moving. Now, now what, May, what uh, Blue didn't realize was it was electric power because it was silently riding through the night, silently moving along uh, minute by minute hour by hour on the silent wings of freedom with the air rushing in their faces there. Uh, and uh, then they paused at the top of a great hill and Sleepy Maggie said, are you ready? Uh, you ready to go down this hill? And uh, Blue said, I don't know. I, 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 I've been, I feel, feel like uh, I'm not, I just met you and now we're flying around these streets in some sort of, is this crib magical or just well-engineered? And uh, Sleepy Maggie said, good engineering is magical. Uh, it's not magic, it's hard work, facts. Uh, but it feels magical, doesn't it? And Blue from Blue's Clues said it does. Uh, Maggie said, before we go, I want to think of a quote from the song Run for the roses, uh, uh, but but I'm trying to think of the most the most important quote from that song. Uh, run, run, run for the roses. The sooner it opens, the quicker it closes. Man, oh man, oh man, oh mine. All good things and all a good time. Uh, and uh, Blue said, "Well, that's not what I think is the most important lyric from that song." And Sleepy Maggie said, really, what, what do you think the most important lyric of the song is? Blue from Blue's Clues? Give me a clue. And uh, Blue from Blue's, the, the person dressed as Blue's from Blue's Clues said, uh, uh, well, I don't know. There's like, reach for the rose or something to something. I don't know. I forgot now. I, but, uh, you know, man, uh, right now I just feel like, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Uh, 
she said reach for the robes got something of something and uh the quicker i guess i have to agree with you at this point because i can't think of a better answer actually i was just buying time before we go down this hill uh and uh Sleepy Maggie said, just wait, just wait. And you're going to see, see baby as we fly down this hill. And they launched off the hill. And this was the most well-engineered crib as a costume, as a moving vehicle you've ever seen. And they picked up speed and they were gliding, gliding, gliding through the night. Uh, rushing, 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 rushing. Pace was picking up, uh, but soon... They were sidetracked because uh, they they hit a pothole, but the Sleepy Maggie swerved out of the way of the pothole. And the crib went up on four, two of the four wheels. Still, the night air was rushing, <laughs> calming, calming you so calming the night air. Uh, uh, and then they went down a side road, and uh, um, uh, Sleepy Maggie said, well, Baloo, what do you think about that? That was pretty exciting. Uh, and she said, I'm feeling something inside that's deeper than love. Uh, she said, deeper than love or like, you know, deeper? Because she goes, yeah, this, it's stimulating for, the, you know, when you go down these kind of hills, it can be stimulating. Uh, and uh, Maggie said, well, I got to go. You're going to have to get out of the crib now. And Blue said, right here? I mean, I don't even know where we are. We just drove around the city in a, uh, a well-engineered racing crib uh, that's supposed to be a Halloween costume. It's almost dawn on Halloween morning, not November 1st, on October 31st. Uh, and uh, Sleepy Maggie said, well, I'm about to be an American in Texas. Uh, and Sleepy Maggie said, well, what does that mean? I, I, Blue said that to Sleepy Maggie, as a matter of fact, clearing up my grammar. And Sleepy Maggie said, well, I got to get there. Uh, me, my crib, uh, I've got I've got a date with Destiny. And she said, a date with Destiny? She goes, yeah, that's my Bluebird. My Bluebird's name is Destiny, and uh, she's waiting for me in, in Texas. That's where I, that's where I call home. And I got to get there to see my Bluebird Destiny. And Blue said, that's strange. Like, I'm dressed as Blue from Blue's Clues. You have a Bluebird. And we happened to meet. Our paths just happened to cross on the dawn of Halloween. Isn't that like Destiny? And uh, she said, I don't know. But uh, looks like what you're going to do is you're going to follow this white line uh, all the way back to the party. And Blue said, well, I'd like, got a couple white lines I'd like to check out at the party because it's not going the way. And Sleepy Maggie said, that's not your style. You're blue, you're blue. You're supposed to find clues and uh, whatever, be adorable. Teach us basic lessons about stuff. And uh, she said, but I'm a rover. I'm a rover in a crib. And I got a ro this this crib the rover's got a rove right back to Texas to go see my bluebird, and Maggie said, "Well, that's strange because that's like isn't that like one of the most popular names for dogs, rover?" And, and Maggie said, "Maybe I'm supposed to go with you to Texas because I've had it here in the city. Like I'm definitely dumping that sleep podcaster I was with that he left me." I can't, I don't know why, why I wouldn't dress up as Steve. He said he didn't like the feel of rugby shirts, but I think it's something else. Uh, and uh, Sleepy Maggie said, well, it sounds like we're about to start skating on the thin ice of a new day. And uh, Blue said, w what the heck's that supposed to mean? Maggie said, you're supposed to figure that out. But don't get, don't get a twist. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't get the new way, new day twisted with the thin ice. Uh, you can skate on that thin ice, but just keep moving. And uh, I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta feed my friggin' bird. It's all the way in Texas, and I, you know. So I'll see you later. It's been great. Uh, uh, and uh, Matt, Sleepy Maggie took off. She said, "Here's one thing. I'm gonna give you a sharpie." And I'm going to give you a piece piece of paper. 
and uh, because we gotta we gotta close the story out, and uh, and now I gotta get back. I gotta get to Texas uh, and see my bluebird. So Sleepy Maggie took off, left Blue behind, uh, and uh, Blue took the sign, headed up to closest uh, on ramp uh, to a freeway. Halloween morning, about 6 a.m., wrote on a sign, yonder, or bust. And uh, who would come along but somebody, you know, pro probably not somebody dressed as Steve from Blue's Clues, but maybe someone in one of those, like, Coca-Cola rugby shirts that were popular in the 90s or the 80s, uh, or the ones, the, 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 I don't know. That's the end of the story. Uh, so that's just how you kind of, um, go through and read a little story. You can also just read them if, if you're like, well, I can't really read this handwriting. It's the problem, but, but you could also just read things slowly. You know, go through a playlist and say night train, vague. See the second one, I couldn't, vague attractions. I couldn't read that one. Vague accretions. Saint Behind the Glass, uh, that's a Los Lobos song. So that's that's how you do it. Um, and that's a tale, you know, there's a tale. Like, if you're going to skate on the thin ice of a new day, you know. So, so, so you just got to have fun with it. See, that was kind of fun for me. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe Steve would be, if he was in a polo short sleeve, short sleeved rugby is a polo shirt. Who would have thought it that these privileged uh, sports, I guess, is rugby considered a privileged sport? Be like, well, this is a rough and tumble sport, but if we take the sleeves off, then you could just, you know, a prince and a king can play it together. Um, so that's about it. Uh, thanks everybody for coming by. Make sure to share bedtime stories in your life. Uh, take care. Yeah, thanks for the love you gave my dino shirt. Um, Oh, space alien. That's a good question. Um, what did happen to the space alien? He went home and made a sleep podcast, a new episode. Uh, he just went beef, borf, beef, borf, beef, until people were like, dude, you got to leave. He never even found the party because there wasn't a party. Uh, so everybody get, get some rest. Practice self-care when you can. Uh, bedtime routine and nighttime routine. Reach out for more support if you need it. There's links in my bio if you're looking uh, for places to uh, uh, get more support. And uh, yeah, I'll try to be back. I'm trying to do some during the day. I don't think I'll be doing them during the day tomorrow, but um, uh, yeah, thanks so much and uh, take care. Podcast is here for you day or night and I'll be here popping in on these whenever I can. Thanks everybody, good night.